Welcome, dear viewer. I'm your host, Carmilla. We are now entering the spookiest month of them all. <laughs> to keep the spirits alive, I gift you my offering. Now, turn off your lights, relax, and enjoy. The story that I'm about to tell you might sound unbelievable and greatly exaggerated, but it's true. Really fucking true. Sorry for all the swears and events I'm about to retell may sound fake and unrealistic, but let me assure you, this really happened. Let me give you some background on myself. I am what most people would call the average Jew. I work as a construction worker and I live in a two-story house in a suburban environment alone as I was single. And as for how this happened, a couple of days ago I was sitting on my couch watching TV and my show Cam Cam was interrupted. It was the emergency alert system. But since I live in an area in the USA with frequent tornadoes, this was somewhat normal. After I read the emergency alert, my heart dropped. I can't remember all the details, but it was something like this. Emergency alert system. This is not a drill. The United States Civil Defense has issued the following message. At 6 a.m. standard time, a non-disclosed entity surfaced from the North Pacific Ocean. It is believed to be extremely hostile towards humans. Until further notice, follow these instructions. Do not look outside. Do not go outside. Do not respond to any calls for help, no matter how human they sound. Cover all windows and secure any entrance points. If you own a firearm, keep it with you at all times. Enclose yourself in an area with minimal entrance points. If the experiment breaches your home, exit the building immediately. Do not call anyone and do not accept any phone calls you receive. Wait for further instructions. The TV turned off. I was in a state of confusion, fear and panic. Was this emergency alert a prank? No, no, it couldn't be. This alert had just interrupted national fucking televisions. If Cam Cam could even be considered that, how could it possibly be a prank? Just to be on the safe side. I did everything the alert had told me to do. I locked my doors, covered the windows, and turned off my phone. I ran to my bedroom and locked the door as my thoughts began to race through my head. And even more concerning, the alert said that this experiment had escaped and it was extremely hostile. But what creature could cause a state emergency? I have to admit, I was tempted to open my window and look outside, but I resisted as I trusted the emergency alert. The next few hours were fairly uneventful. I stayed in my room, reading books and exercising. It was about 2.30 when I heard something smash in my neighbor's house. It sounded like a window being shattered followed by something large crushing the broken glass. I felt a chill go up my spine, and I listened closer. Then, I heard the most unpleasant and gut-wrenching sound I could possibly hear. A scream! It sounded like a woman was screaming, but not because pain, but because of fear. 
I couldn't hold myself back any longer, and I stood up and grabbed my curtains. But at that exact same moment, I remember something. The emergency alert had specifically said not to look outside. I didn't want to risk it, so I slowly backed away from my window. But the screams continued, and at one point they stopped. They just fucking stopped. It was as if the screams were suddenly silenced, cut off, the source killed. I could only think about what made that person scream. Some creature was out there, and that unlucky person must have seen it. No, no, no. I pressed my ear up to the window and I listened. I could hear something move through my neighborhood. It didn't move like a car or something. The thing moved slowly, as if it were dragging itself across the road. Without warning, all sounds of movement stop. This brought panic to me. Why would the creature all of a sudden stop? Suddenly the sounds returned, and it sounded like the creature was moving in my direction. In my direction. Oh shit. Oh fucking shit. God help me. This was the last row. I had to see what was outside. I stood up and walked towards the window. Alarm bells ringing in my head. I gripped the curtains. Feeling the worst anxiety I had, had ever experienced. And I pulled them back. There is no rational explanation for what I saw next. There simply isn't. What I saw was what I saw. What I saw traumatized me for life. And I'll remember it until the day I die. This thing was dragging itself down the road. It was this black mass of rotting flesh. And it had grotesque features. The eyes were green, round and black, massively out of proportion. Long, glistening tentacles and tendrils protruded from the skin of the creature. Each of the tentacles ended in sharp points, and some even had mouths on the tips of the tentacles. There are lots of small holes and wound-like orifices all over the creature opening and closing as it breathed. Long veins pulsated across the creature's body. The creature was about the size of a fucking school bus. I immediately ducked down and that's when the smell hit me. The creature smelled like rotting flesh and decay. The smell was nauseating and it took all my willpower to not gag or vomit. Immediately I shut the window and I closed the curtains. I didn't think that the creature had seen me, so at least I didn't have to worry about that. Just as I was calming myself down, I heard someone shouting outside. Help! 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 The voice yelled. I scrambled towards the window, but then I stopped. The emergency alert had said not to respond to any calls for help, no matter how human they sound. God, no! What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this thing? I pick off the window. One of the tentacles ended in a flower-like mouth, and the calls for help sounded like they came from it as if it was some kind of speaker or sound projector. What? This creature? It couldn't possibly be normal. I watched the creature as it smashed the roof of a small house. One of its tendrils snaked through the house and the tendrils returned with a bag of steak. The creature dropped the steak into one of its mouths. 
and the creature grew in size. Yes, it grew. It only grew a foot longer, but nonetheless, it visibly grew in size. I leaned back in my chair and it fell over. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. The chair fell over with a loud crash and I heard the creature stop moving. I look outside and the creature's many eyes look directly at me. The creature had heard the chair fall over and now it saw me. And to this very day, I cannot describe the fear and panic I felt at that moment. I locked my bedroom door. I had seen the creature easily rip the roof off of a house, so I didn't think locking my door would do much to protect myself. I heard the creature slowly drag itself towards my house, and one of its tentacles started to snake towards my window. I didn't own any firearms, so I was completely defenseless against the creature. I felt the front door of my house burst open and I heard actual human fucking footsteps run up my stairs as screeches came from outside. A very tall and muscular man, easily 7 foot tall, donned in full tactical gear and a black gas mask, kicked down my bedroom door and pointed a loaded Benelli M4 everywhere in my room before realizing I was in the air. The man took off his gas mask, revealing a late twenties looking guy with dark curly hair, dark eyes and bird stubble. The fuck? He muttered. They didn't even evacuate this place. God, Sergio must be drunk. What the hell is going on? I yelled. Hey! The man snapped. Call him the fuck down. I wasn't expecting anyone to still be here. That's all. I needed to get a better vantage point. We need to get out of here. And I have to kill this thing. Lawrence, that fucking asshole must have done this. Does he have hackers? What? I asked. Sighing. Who the fuck are you? You? You don't need to know that. I doubt you'll believe me anyway. You know how to use this? The man handed me a large and loaded handgun. No, I don't. Well, too bad. Aim. Point. Fire. You'll definitely need it. The safety is on right now. Just click the little button on the side and it should turn off. Brace yourself for the recall. I heard crashes come from downstairs. Shit, the man said. Let's get the fuck out of here. He put on the gas mask and ran downstairs, motioning me to follow as he swept the barrel of his shotgun at multiple rooms. As we burst into the living room at the bottom of the stairs, large, intertwined masses of black tendrils were snaking in the air locking the door. The man immediately shot the tendrils, severing them in bursts of black gore as he used a machete to chop the rest of them, firing outside as I ran out, only 10 feet away from the monster. The man began to fire chunks of the monster, aiming for the eyes as he ran out of ammo. Reaching into his backpack and grabbing the stock of an M4 carbine, dropping the shotgun and firing at the monster with full auto precision. I decided to be useful and started firing at the monster at a point blank range. The recoil fucking my shoulders up, yet I kept firing until the gun clicked. He threw a grenade at it and reloaded his M4. Firing again into the monster as the grenade exploded. He threw another grenade and told me to get a truck parked on the side of the road as he kept reloading and firing at the monster. He finished it off with his last few grenades and he jumped in the truck and caught his <sighs> Holy shit. I'm gonna need a beer after this one.
What's your name? Oli, I replied, breathing heavily. Well, Oli, I think we could use someone like you. I just wanted to give my thanks to for letting me use their story to narrate. I wonder how it would feel like to run through your skin. 